Hi, I'm Mary, here with the Adirondack Mountain Club, and I'm bringing you a know-before-you-go tip about bear encounters to help you have a safe and low-impact experience in the Adirondack Park. Let's get into it. One of the most exciting wildlife encounters one can have in the Adirondacks is with a black bear. While uncommon, you are most likely to run into one of the Adirondack Park's 4,000 black bears sometime between dusk and dawn when they are most active. What do you do if this happens? Here are a few tips to ensure that both you and the bear have a positive encounter. A big part of ensuring that bear and human encounters are positive ones involves keeping them away from human food sources. Keep your food with you at all times. If it is not with you, it should either be in a bear canister or, if allowed by land managers, in a well-hung hang to keep it out of reach. Don't leave anything tasty behind, including in a backpack that you drop by the trail. Otherwise, this will teach the bear that if it approaches people, it will get fed. If you are out in the woods and see a bear, give the bear an appropriate amount of space. You can measure this by extending your thumb in front of you and making a thumbs up. Then close one eye and see if you can cover the bear with your thumb. If you can't, you are too close and should back away. This is a good rule for respecting all wildlife. Now let's say the bear didn't run away after seeing you, or maybe it walked into your campsite while you were cooking dinner. Now you may have to scare it away. To do so, make yourself look big. Stand tall, grab a branch, trekking pole, or canoe paddle, wave your hands in the air, and make some noise. In most situations, the bear will be frightened and run off. In rare instances, the bear might actually do the opposite and become confrontational, which could include hissing, growling, and bluff charging. This generally only happens if the bear is either protecting cubs, sick or injured, or habituated to getting food from humans. Unfortunately, option three is usually the most common. Make sure an obstruction is between you and the bear, your hiking partner will do in a pinch, and get away from the bear. In this situation, you will want to notify a ranger or DEC official of the encounter. No matter what, remember that we are visiting their home. We need to do all we can to ensure that bears and other wildlife do not become habituated to our food so that we can all have a safe and healthy experience in the backcountry. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos about safe and responsible recreation in the Adirondack Park and other wild places. Follow the links below to learn more about ADK, become a member, donate, and more.